Before we get started with the show, here's a quick word from our sponsor, Global Training Center. As trade compliance professionals, you want to make sure that your procedures and documentation are completed as correctly as possible to avoid any delays and possible fines. We provide a range of trade compliance courses that will fit your needs. From in-person or web training to recorded on-demand courses, we can train one or even thousands on your team through your learning platform or on our portal. We can even customize a private session for your team. Go to globaltrainingcenter.com to find out more. Hey Andy, um, gosh, just uh, trying to recover here from last week. Uh, I just, uh, you know, it, it, it was a long week and a short week at the same time, but it just felt like we were um, traveling for days <laughs> from the ICPA conference. We really had a lot of uh, activity out there and, uh, um, you know, it just feels feels like like I've been out, I've been gone for weeks now. Anytime we're out of the office or uh, out of our normal routine, it takes you a while to catch up. But oh man, what a great conference, uh, folks! If you've missed the ICPA conference, that's where uh, Lalo and I were just uh, at, and uh, we just had a great time. Um, and close to you know probably a thousand or a little bit over that were involved in it with both the on site was probably about 800 850 and another uh, close to 200 online and uh ah oh, just just a great time we're going to get to uh talk through uh some of the things that we saw and some of the people we got to talk to but uh I will say flying down to Orlando on business um you know, Sunday for me was not a big deal uh, coming out of Memphis on a, on the Sunday. Uh, it was actually Sunday morning and, and all. But, man, I had a disaster coming out of there. It, it <laughs> Wednesday night, I had a <laughs> late night uh, flight. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, I checked in. I was checking in an hour before the flight. But I guess I just didn't take into account it was spring break and all those hundreds and thousands of people out there. Oh, geez. I had to check two bags, Lalo. And I was in the line, and it was their inefficiencies of this one airline I'd never flown before. <laughs> and uh, it was just uh, – I got up to the ticket counter to – Check in my bag. I already checked in, had the bag tags and everything. They would not check me in. They said it's less than 24 minutes before departure, I, and uh, they wouldn't let me in. And I'm oh. like, but it, it, I stood in your line. It's your line that prevented me from doing this. Nope, wouldn't do it. It was the last flight out. I had to redo oh. a flight on a different airline. I just said, forget this, and I, I went on a different airline. Um, I set up uh, a hotel and another rental car just to spend overnight. Get this. My flight was due to take off at 10 o'clock at nine 55. They sent a text saying the flight is delayed and departure now will be 10 30, which I would have made it. But I, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so, era, you know, so yeah, you're talking about trying to get back. Oh, listen, I probably had all of, and it was a 5:30 flight at on top of that, so I probably got all of about two hours of sleep on Wednesday night. So anyway, hey, you know, that's one of those when you're traveling for business or whatever, or traveling at all. You know, you just kind of go with the flow, right? You, you just you can't get too upset with it. Yeah. If I'd gotten to the airport two hours early, I'd probably been okay. <laughs> I did not take into account <laughs> if you're not Holy smoke. going to Orlando for pleasure, like, you know, at Disney World or whatever else you're going down there. If you're going on business, I would highly recommend not going during spring break. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <gasps> that was, yeah. Yeah, and you, I don't know if you would have gone through the gotten through the TSA line in time anyway, because oh, that, that was a very though, long I've line. Also, clear. so I I mean literally, oh, you do? Oh, okay, yeah, I went you can just watch the clear through line, yeah. and I was like less than five minutes, zip right on through. I was fine. It was just they wouldn't check right. my bags. Okay. I'm like, well, <laughs> anyway, I, I'm telling you, jeez. Anyway, saying all that. 
You know what? It, it was fantastic, though, to get to see some folks. And uh, obviously, you and I don't get to see each other face to face very often, and and as well as Elsa and and Chris right. and all that. That was just a great time. Y'all did a wonderful time. Uh, did a wonderful job with the 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 booths and all that. So I got to hand it to you, man. It was great. <laughs> it was it was good visiting with those people so i see i have an email that they sent out right before the event and officially they had 835 people on site and 170 virtual so that's what i got i mean the, they could have been a little more yeah right a thousand and five so i don't know if they're counting the vendors and all that because um or the exhibitors because man there was a bunch of us there you know and it was uh it was a full house and um, it was good walking around, talking to people. But I think the most exciting thing, and I really want to make a point of, of, um, I know where you're going. of, uh, yeah, of, of telling people and thanking them because we don't get that feedback that we normally would get, you know, um, with a podcast and all not being a webinar, for example, where people can tell you right away, Hey, do this, do that, or, you know, and talk to you. But I can't believe how many people came up to us and said how much they like our show. That was humble. It was, it was surreal. It was, it was, uh, it was really nice. I mean, anybody wants to know if you're doing a good job and all that, but I got to tell you, Lala, that was so humbling to see that our listeners would come up and, hey, shout out to the folks. I mean, there's lots of folks that did it, but in particular, I want to say uh, shout out to the uh, folks at Jaguar Range Rover uh, uh, Corporate. Um, you know, we had uh, their, uh, I believe this, the director of their compliance uh, said that their, she has her staff uh, listen to us. So, hey, I listen. I, would love the opportunity to get to talk to y'all and, and all that, but thank you so much for being listeners. Uh, and, uh, Whitney, oh my gosh, Whitney was so wonderful. And we got to see Kelly that has the women in trade uh, podcast. She stopped by, but Whitney, was it Carter? Is that her last name? Yeah. Yes. Whitney it, Carter. Carter. Oh, uh -huh. you were yes. just a blessing. Uh, I mean, goodness, you, you were so, uh, Nice. And I mean, golly, we, we can't ma name everybody, but it was just so great. Listen, folks, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, put your comments down. If you like our shows, download them. But y'all are, we are so appreciative of you. Thank you for what you did and, and, uh, all that. So, hey, we recorded obviously, uh, several folks there. So, uh, who are we going to, uh, get to listen to and share right. with the folks here? So what we're going to do, and, um, I felt like we obviously can't run a five hour <laughs> episode. So, so <laughs> we did record a lot of content and I wanted to just kind of, um, see if we can, uh, circle back and, and do a, um, just kind of like a wrap up show or call it what you want, you know, a roundup, a wrap up, uh, a recap, uh, of what we saw last week and, and just mention a few of the folks that did drop by our booth and, and record it, um, segments that are long enough to be episodes. So just so everyone knows, we may play like five or less minutes of each one of these. We'll probably pay some good, like sound bites from, from those recordings. Um, but we will publish a full episode of them um, later as the weeks go by. And we may be running into, um, you know, just times that we also have episodes that we recorded prior to ICPA and then after ICPA. So we're just going to have to mix them all up. But I'm hoping that the content, I, I do like it because um, the content that we recorded there um, talked about some of the, the sessions that, that went on, some of the conversations that people are having with with. Um, you know, with the attendees and networking. So I think it's going to be good content that, we're, that we'll publish. Um, for this show in particular, uh, we will publish a video um, almost soon after this. Uh, it's it's rare that we do that because we normally just publish audio and then the video comes out later. But 
I feel that the reason we need to do the video right away is because this is more visual. Don't you think, Andy? I mean, people want to see who was there, what was going on and all that. And and we did a, a man on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those, listen, Lalo's got uh, some so, new equipment. We, we wound up getting together. He's got this really cool mobile unit. So he's got the camera, the light, the microphone. And so he was the cameraman. I was interviewing some folks and getting some folks to talk. And and uh, and, and we used it throughout uh, different things there. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's more visual. And that's why. Um, so if you all want to see that, um, go to crowd.trade. So that would be www.crowd.trade. Um, and if you're not a member right now, it's going to you can log in. I mean, create a, uh, an account. It's free. And look on the left hand side. Of, there's a menu that says um, podcast. Look for this particular episode. That's where you'll see the video and any of the other videos of any of the podcasts that we recorded. So whenever we say this is only a 30 minute show, but we recorded 45 minutes or an hour, um, that's where you'll see the full segment. Anyway, but going to that, Andy, we can talk and start talking about the different people that were there that we talked to. Um, and excuse me, I'm not going to be always facing the camera because um, I have my notes here. So uh, first off, um, we did walk around on Sunday night in the reception and we did get to talk to people like um, like Cynthia Wittenberg of NCF, NCBFAA or the NEI and uh, Kiko, who, who've been on our show. But we talked to one of your buddies um, from, I uh, believe, San Antonio. Lenny Feldman. Said, um, Feldman. Lenny? Feldman. What did I say? Feldman. <laughs> He's going to kick right. me. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm telling you, I, I think I'm still jet lagged. I was like, you're right, Feldman. Oh my gosh. Lenny, I apologize. <laughs> we're like, yes. it, it's like we're trade brothers, man. It's so like, we, I love the guy. Right. Yeah. So we talked to him and we talked to Elizabeth. So you're going to, after this, you'll see a clips of like how the kickoff went, you know, so nothing, nothing specific other than the, the environment and everything. So uh, we'll, we'll get to hear that here um, right now. Uh, we're at the ICPA on Sunday night at the reception and uh, we're going to go through and make some updates for uh, you know interviewing people and, and talking to them so you can see what you missed. If you're not here, Hopefully, you're going to uh, be looking at coming to the next conference. Here we are with Elizabeth from ICPA, and we're uh, going around again and uh, saying hi to folks and all that. You want to say hi to the folks uh, that are not here? Yes, I do. Listen, um, I know there's a, a large group of you that had to change last minute, whether it was budget cuts or family issues, and you're going to be joining us virtually. I really hope to see you in some of those virtual networking cafes. I'm going to go in and do that. The b 2 b Minglers um, are going to do that. You're going to have some uh, some faces that you've seen before. I'm going to try to get these guys in there and talk to us too. Hey, here we go. Hi, it's good to see you again. It's great to be here in this venue. This is a wonderful venue. We've got a lot of folks, um, as you can see behind us. Oh, uh, we get stepped on here. So I'm looking forward to, um, I think, meeting and connecting again after COVID, post COVID. This is great, great turnout. And it, uh, it, it, it's fantastic. Listen, folks, Cynthia Whitmer is uh, former customs, but she is now with the NCB FAA, and you're doing the training, right? Yes. The, okay. The NEI, the Educational Institute. Hey, folks, we're doing another thing going through on uh, the uh, reception, and uh, as we're going through the uh, different exhibits, we're at the Roanoke booth, and we have some beautiful ladies here that uh, you want to say hi to the crowd and uh, to everybody? Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and this is Patrice and we're with Roanoke Insurance Group and we're very excited to be back at ICPA 2023 and this is day one, evening one. Evening one. Evening one, yeah. we'll see you all tomorrow morning. And with that is like there's quite a few exhibitors and the other thing about it is this is one where even if you're on virtual, you need to look to see the sponsors and check out what they're doing online as well as keep tabs on all these companies so that you never know you change companies, these are the folks that you want to know to say, hey, I didn't need your service before, but I do need it now. Hey, folks, we are still moving around saying hi to all kinds of folks, and this is a fantastic friend. Man, we go back a few years. We go back a few years <laughs> to my CPA, but I'm so glad to welcome you all to my home state. I am one of the few natives here, the state of Florida, the great state of Florida. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. We're going to have a wizardly 
magically great week here <laughs> in Orlando. And with Lenny Feldman around, you know it's going to be a great time. So it's like we're going to have fun. And we're going to learn a few things along the way. I hope. This is one of the great folks. You need, if you don't know him, you need to, to find him on LinkedIn, connect with Say him. Hi. You know, first drink on me. <laughs> there you, you go. Got it. Okay, that was uh, a good time. That was the reception for ICPA on that Sunday night. A lot of folks were coming in uh, and, and whatnot. And as you could tell, it was like somewhat informal. Everybody was having a good time. It was good to see people. It was almost like, you know, you're at a family reunion and getting the hug and, and uh, say hi and all that. So that was a good time. So then day one, we sat and talked and recorded longer segments of people who were there presenting, um, like actually having um, some sessions and or um, sponsoring and or also just walking around attending, right? So if you attended ICPA, remember, whether it's virtual or in on uh, on uh, in person, you have access to the these presentations for the next 90 days. So definitely, I highly recommend that you check those things out. That way you can look at all of them and because you can't see all, uh, all of them while you're there. But anyway, then we've got some more folks that we talked to. I mean, it was... It was so cool to have different perspectives on on different topics and what people were getting out of it and and uh, what they thought about the organization and the conference. Hopefully, y'all got to see um, some pictures on on LinkedIn uh, of us recording. So it was like this big spectacle. We had cameras and lights and speaker and uh, not speakers. I'm so well, we even had a speaker. So people could, as they were walking by, they could hear what we're, uh, when we're recording. Cause when we have the headphones on and the microphone and we're recording, you can't really hear us unless you, unless you're almost standing right behind us. So we hooked up a speaker so that people could uh, listen to it. And actually folks were coming by and they were getting a kick out of that. They love that. Yeah, they did. So, so the other thing is, um, there was really interesting how we also had people come to us that, or no, actually, let me, let me rephrase that. We talked to people who were new at the show as vendors that were bringing in amazing technology. The, uh, the, uh, the startup company, uh, quick code and, oh, quick code. Yeah. So they, it was them and there was another company that kind of does the same thing, but they have a different approach to it. And I mean, it's, it's amazing how new tools. And again, like Andy said, if you didn't hear their talks or you didn't see, or you had no clue what they were talking about, I think you need to go and listen to that because they're, I mean, and we'll play a clip here right after this on quick code on their technology. It's just amazing what they're doing and what they're developing, you know, in that, in that field with uh, AI, with uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Listen to this. Okay. First off, cause quick code is new to me. Talk to me and tell me what is quick code? Great question. Mm -hmm. So I think in order to understand quick code, you have to have a little bit of an understanding of our background. We uh, are experts in text classification and artificial intelligence as it applies to text classification. We have a product that is deployed in the intelligence community space. I have a pile of text, it needs value. We believe there's an opportunity in HS classification based on what we've seen. It's a hard problem to solve. We talked to a lot of people, and a lot of people have said, a, a machine can't do this, uh, only a human can do it. Mm -hmm. But we think that recent advances in uh, AI, and specifically in text classification and in natural language processing, make it the right time to try to do this again mm -hmm. at a very high level. Still human in a loop, still requires someone who has knowledge of classification, can't be done by a person off the street easily, can be done, but not easily, still requires a human with knowledge. But to do it faster, more efficiently, more accurately in a replicable process uh, that improves the throughput. All right, so quick code is you have a product that you've built based on AI technology, which is artificial intelligence technology. Correct. For those of us like me that are dumb as a box of rocks, I'm going, AI, okay, I, oh no, okay. Um, all right, so with that, you said that uh, the, the challenges uh, have been there where uh, automatically classifying something based on a description. Hence, it runs through the uh, the artificial intelligence. I would assume has some kind of algorithm type programming, 
takes the data, runs through a database, comes back and says, okay, based on that, here's the classification. Obviously, in the past, it has been where, uh, and, and as time goes on, people keep refining it. I get that. But in, in looking at it, to me, I think it's absolutely fantastic to utilize AI with the understanding that you got to have a human to make sure you, you can spot check it. You can go through it. You can look at every single one. You, but it, it would, in my opinion, and see if I'm right in this, it would be easier to look and see if you agree with the harmonized tariff number. So when you're doing an audit of the software, then it would be to go from ground zero and classify it completely on your own. Correct. I'll let you answer that question. That's a really good point. Yeah, so, you know, as we started getting into this space, we talked to a lot of people and, and to understand the classification process. And, and, you know, from what we gather, it kind of works like this. You, you'll have the thing you're trying to classify, you read the schedule, you read the relevant rulings, you look at the explanatory notes, you synthesize all of that information, and you try to make your guess of what chapter, what section this particular product belongs in. Um, so given that, we uh, exploited the, the most recent uh, advances in language modeling in the AI space, all these large language AI models like ChatGPT that you may have heard of. Um, what was it? Let's say that one more time. ChatGPT. Chat ChatGPT. It's, uh, well, it's right, actually OpenAI. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> OpenAI, I guess. Yeah. 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 So, okay. So just, oh, okay. Just yeah. in the last several years, advances in language-based AI mm -hmm. and understanding natural language uh, have just really just taken over everything. And we are leveraging that technology to uh, allow our AI to, to use this understanding of language, and we feed it with those sources that I previously mentioned, the text of the schedule, the text of the rulings, the text okay. of the notes, uh, bill of lading data. And, and that's all in the, in the model, in the AI model. And then when, mm -hmm. when the user comes and puts in their text description, it, it takes that, it feeds it through the model, and the, and the model tells it, these are the most likely codes that we think it might be, and then it asks the user a series of questions to resolve to exactly what, what code it is. And along the way, it, it can make a bunch of assumptions. It shows those assumptions to the user and allows them to say, oh, no, that's not right, or yes, it is right. Um, and in the end, we can get a classification in less than 60 seconds, really doing the same process that the user would have done on their own, but there's no way that they could they could check all these sources and process all this information in that period, that speed of time. Wait. Folks, this is like yeah. some cool stuff. Right. And then, uh, so speaking of which, we even had two competing vendors uh, talking yes. about drawback. But again, uh, we, we talked to um, Alliance. Tony Nogueras. Yeah. Um, drawback. Tony Nogueras, right? And then we also talked to DHL. Um, they both do the exact same thing. Of course, they all have their methodologies and everything, but both, I mean, very respectful of each other and everything and respecting, respecting the competition. But it's crazy how there's enough business, I guess, out there for everyone, you know, and then you might not like um, Pepsi. So you go with Coke, right? Same thing here, right? I mean, there's something about one or the other that you might like. And, and so that was good that there was a, a variety of different options that you can see. And so. But I got to say. You know, again, the feedback you guys are getting, it's like sometimes we put these shows together and we're hoping it's like, you know, you and I look at it and go, is this something I would be interested in? Okay, if it is, then we're going to do a show on it. And we're hoping that you're finding it of interest. And the feedback we got was yes. So, again, thank you. Yeah. We're we're spot on. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, and and there's people that that – that told us that doesn't part uh, uh, um, pertain to anything that I do in trade, but I like to listen to it because you never know it may come up, you know, and I'm prepared for this. I'm prepared for that, et cetera. So it worked out. And again, everyone, um, those are just very small examples of what we did um, for the, for the event. Um, in the interest of time, we, can't mention everyone or, or, or show all the clips and we apologize for anyone that we might have left out, but we'll try to throw as many clips as we can. Um, but you will see the full episodes. You will hear the full episodes one way or another. We're going to get them out to you and you'll learn about this. And so we may uh, what we're looking at doing is partnering again with with that website crowd.trade. 
in full disclosure, it is part of Global Training Center, you know, so just so everybody knows. Um, but um, that is a, a community that Global Training Center has had since probably 2016 or so. And that's where our customers pretty much can can get together and talk about the training that they receive. But there's sections that, that we were able to open up. And one of them, we may partner with that uh, website where we can do a demo because you can't really see software demo on a podcast, right? So we'll record it and maybe demo it at the same time and, you know, maybe get some feedback from people at the same time. Who knows? We'll, we'll try to do a live podcast or something. But anyway, somehow, some way or another, that way you as listeners can have a, an additional resource to hear and watch and see what everybody may be, what tools you can be using. Cause it's crazy how people just said, I mean, it's amazing how, they do value walking around the conference and talking to those vendors. It, it's, it's, it, that was another thing that, that, that I like to hear because it, you kind of sometimes feel you're standing there, you're kind of doing like this. What can yeah. I do to get you in this car today? You yeah. know, kind of like a lot. <laughs> well, it's like, and, you know, I always tell people, you know, you're in your positions and yeah, there's some folks that have been uh, in their jobs for long periods of time, but overall, they're the general average of what I've seen is there is a lot of movement in the compliance and logistics and transportation industries. And generally speaking, you're going to be moving into a different role and or different company within five years. And so the thing is, is like, you know, when you're at a conference, go to each of the vendors. I mean, there, you know, look to see what they do, what they offer. And when you're at a conference, find out what it is. You may not need that product or service now, but within, a, you know, five years, you change a role. Guess what? Oh, you know what? I've got a situation now. Somebody was uh, an expert in anti-dumping countervailing duties. Who can, oh, I know. I talked to so-and-so in this company or the duty drawback or whatever the case right. may be. But, um, that that's just something, and that that it was uh, phenomenal getting to see everybody walk around and and uh, what they picked up on. Will, would you like to say anything from Arch Link here? I'm standing at his booth, obviously, and would you like to say anything as far as how this conference has been? Yeah, no, it's been Andy. It's been a great conference. I I think I started attending in 2015 when I was on the importer side, and now on the other side of the table, so to speak. But no, it's been good. It's, I think things are starting to kind of come back around with travel and the turnout was fantastic uh, lots of folks out here lots of good sessions and uh yeah it was really good to to be a part um and you know kind of talk to customers about pain points global trade management software uh, a lot of ai for for classification type conversations so uh yeah always a pleasure to be here but no really encouraged by the in, engagement this week and archlink you've got it, it's like is it a module or an enhancement to sap yeah, so, so our background is, is SAP services on the global trade and the broader supply chain application. But yeah, it's kind of an output of that activity over the last, since two, 20, uh, 2008, uh, we've kind of developed this enhancement with uh, AI for classification that works within SAP, but also as a standalone solution um, to help classifiers classify. Because I think you know as well as I do, folks' uh, talent's been retiring. And it's harder to train folks on classification. So it's kind of another tool in the tool belt, so to speak, to, to make things a little bit easier um, for all the, the new folks coming into trade compliance. All right, folks, we're uh, wrapping up things with ICPA and the third day of the conference. And uh, before folks start breaking down here, I'm uh, able to get into C.H. Robinson's uh, booth here. So how was this uh, conference uh, for y'all uh, this go round? It, it was great. And there was a lot of uh, participants this year, lot much larger than two years ago when we were down here in Orlando. Weather's a little cooler, so that's perfect as well. <laughs> We've been enjoying it very much. And you were uh, one of our speakers, so what would you talk on? I talked about EU and U.S. dual-use goods oh and all the controls that are going on with it and what you need to do to be compliant and make sure you don't wind up in the orange jumpsuit. So... What day did you speak on? I spoke on the first day, right before lunch. So I was blocking everyone from lunch. I, <laughs> well, so with that, it's like, yeah, as uh, on the conference, you can go in and, and look at some of the the uh, the uh, 
presentations and all that kind of stuff, so be sure and take a look at that. So we're in front of the MIC booth with Allison here. So talk to us, as, uh, tell us, uh, how was this conference for you? This conference is always great. The agenda, the attendees, we're all like family here. Uh, yeah, it's like, as Ann would say, it, this is the family reunion you want to come to, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, in attending uh, the next conference, if somebody is looking at trying to consider where to spend their travel dollars and, and whatnot for a uh, employee development or whatever, what would you recommend? I would definitely recommend them come to ICPA, especially the annual conference. There's over a thousand attendees, the um, booth sponsors here, the vendors, the education. Definitely come to the annual conference. Yeah, if you're a business, this is definitely, you're looking for the compliance leads, this is a good place to do it. Why MIC? What's the big claim to fame for y'all? You're looking for someone for FTZ, IMEX, duty drawback, origin calculation, classification. You want to come to MIC. <laughs> I love it. Folks, thank you so much for uh, joining us. And if you're considering somebody to uh, for some of the services, consider MIC. With that, hopefully you uh, have safe travels home. Thank you. You too. Okay, folks. We're still going around saying hi and bye to some good folks, uh, and, and we're in front of the Vigilant booth here with both John and Joe, <laughs> J&J. &J. Has this been a good conference for you, John? It's been a great conference, great conference. And this is your second one, was it? It's my second one, that's right. So what do you think so far of what, it just literally the overall experience here as far as what they be? I just, I like the fact that we're all in this together, and we learn from each other, and we can support each other. And I think it's great. It's a great way to network and meet people and find common solutions. Love it. Joe, you're a long timer like myself. Oh, I'm an ICPA charter member 20 plus years ago. Yeah, and I think this is one of the best conferences I've seen. It's just, it was put together very well, but it's also the highest attended conference they've ever had. So a great, great group of people from both the provider side as well as the uh, you know, the importer-exporter side. Well, and, and one of the things, too, is uh, I, um, I, I got to attend not as a member, but as an attendee of that first conference, and it was uh, quite interesting in San Diego many years ago. But all that to say, it has uh, really evolved, and, and uh, Joe Burks here is one of the key folks that i got to tell you has really helped the ICPA organization and, and grow and through membership and other things. But with that said... Um, why vigilant? What's your big claim to fame here? Our big claim to fame is we remove your, we eliminate your day-to-day -day compliance headaches. I mean, the key there, Andy, is we allow people to become proactive, which is the thing you have to do to be compliant in trade. We take those reactive tasks away from you so you can be more proactive. Excellent, excellent. So it's on the uh, list of uh, exhibitors and, and attendees and all that. Look for uh, uh, John and, and Joe both. The one thing I will say also, uh, it's uh, Trade with Joe, is that? Trade your, Buzz with Joe. Trade Buzz with Joe. Check it out. Trade Buzz with Joe is worth uh, listening to because the guy, he, he's just phenomenal. So with that, guys have safe travels back home. Thank you. You guys have safe travels too. All right, here's uh, another one with Buckland from uh, up in the uh, Michigan area, I guess, right? Michigan and yeah. Canada. In Michi Michigan and Canada. So, Laredo. And Laredo. Absolutely. Oh, you're trying to cover all North America. Hey, I'm trying to. That's there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, has uh, the ICBA uh, conference, this been a good one for you? Absolutely. We've had great traffic. Um, nice not only to see our own customers that come and visit us, but um, just the questions, and especially the Canadian questions. Um, the interest there has been... We, de we definitely have a lot more to talk about on, on the Canadian side. So we're looking at, hopefully, from Simply Trade, that we'll have some uh, uh, podcast shows coming up talking about, what is it, CARM? Arm. That's the that's the hot topic right now. Yeah. So yeah, it's due this year. Yeah, and it's like I understand it is the development is still suffering uh, some delays or not working real well. <laughs> delays, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So October so far is the date uh, we've been given, um, but we're anticipating possibly another another new date. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. And so from your perspective, what do you think as far as the the conference and how's it been for your company? Oh, it's fantastic. We love the engagement, customers and 
prospective customers have been great here. Uh, it's always a great experience to um, to have an open floor with even with the competitors, see what they are doing. There was a lot of collaboration, which I find really interesting too, and an exchange of ideas and points of view. So I think that that contributes to the overall health of the trading landscape, right? So I think it's fantastic. Yeah, we had a great time and we are looking forward to come back for sure. So, all right. So as we're going around, we're standing in front uh, of the third wave booth. And so I will ask, is, has this been your first? Uh, My first ICPA. Oh, how, how about that? So where are you from? Uh, Toronto, Canada. Oh, okay. I used to live up in the Toronto area and brought home a baby Canuck uh, when I left. Oh, really? Yeah. My daughter was born up there. So that said, uh, coming down, what got you uh, to come down to ICPA? Uh, to be honest, I've wanted to come for quite a while. And uh, you know, I was getting ready and then COVID and life was busy. But uh, I'm on the technology side uh, of the business. So I wanted to see what, uh, yeah, what the sales guys uh, do all the time when they're down here. <laughs> It's like what you're promising or who you're talking to, right? And so, uh, we're also here with Grant. You'll hear his voice or if you've seen him on our, our podcast before. And so uh, what do you think so far, bud? So, uh, I mean, it's been a great, a great conference, and I'm always excited to come down here. This is my favorite conference of the year, so it's fun to see old friends and meet new, new, new friends. And uh, I'm always excited to see you guys, so this is, uh, this is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So first, my name is Shaquana Teasley. Everyone knows me as Shaq. I am the CEO and founder of Agus Solutions. We are an educational institute that provides professional development for the entire career trajectory of your career in international trade compliance and global logistics. I am honored to be the recipient of the Partnership Award for the ICPA for 2022. It is our mission in that capacity to make sure that the ICPA is having diverse membership so we have supported the increase of the membership here to make sure that minority women and minorities from around the world of every color make sure they feel safe, comfortable, invited, and welcome at every ICPA conference. And that's how I won this award. Excellent, excellent. So for somebody that may be looking at, uh, they're in the industry, they're getting dumped into the industry, if you're like, okay, you're going to be doing compliance or your logistics or your transportation, whatever it is. Uh, and they're like, you know, deer in the headlight looks. Shaq, what would you uh, recommend for somebody as far as this organization goes and or membership? So I think we all have been there. I actually had my degree in social work. Most of us kind of just stumbled upon, upon international trade compliance or global logistics. So my first piece of advice was to find you a great mentor, someone that you can trust that is not going to guide you based on their own personal interest, but what really works for you and your family. I, always, uh, I gotta ask the question, is it Descartes, Descartes, or what? It's Descartes. Descartes, okay. Sure. So, forgive my ignorance here. No All right. But uh, we're in front of the Descartes uh, booth, and uh, how has the uh, this uh, ICPA conference been for you guys? It's been really good. We've had uh, lots of traffic, um, uh, some people that are interested in our products. Uh, and um, a lot of people here use Descartes, so it's, it's a nice transition for them to come talk to us. Introduce yourself and where you're from. Uh, my name is Doug Coolis, and I am from Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, boy, they've got some uh, weather up in that way right now. Yeah, yes, yes, so it's nice here. It's nice. <laughs> and uh, with Descartes, you've got, as we were just talking off uh, camera here a little while, uh, while ago, it's like you've got hundreds of uh, different systems and applications, right? Yes, we have over, uh, over 200 products, and um, th the group that's here with me is in, in the compliance side with screening and data and FTZ zones and different things like that. But yeah, we sell stuff that I don't even know about. <laughs> so how about yourself over here? Is like, what, uh, what do you think as far as this conference been for you uh, from a, uh, if you will, a sales perspective and, and a business perspective? Yeah, well, you know, it's nice seeing partners, colleagues, uh, and learning as well how we can better service them with over 200 products. So we, you know, been able to share with customers and, and everybody here what we're doing, and they're showing us what they're doing. So it's really, it's really been really collaborative, I'd say. Excellent, excellent. And, and uh, introduce yourself and where you're from. Yeah, I'm Chris Kahn. I currently live in Salt Lake City, Utah. From Florida, so go Gators. 
<laughs> there you go. Well, no, wait a minute. I'm a, I'm a Tennessee fan. It's like, wait a minute. And then we've got uh, behind the camera here, Texas. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's been great from a, you know, again, as we said, we have over 200 applications, and it's all about how we can better service our customers. Just to take a moment and say thank you, you know, again, Mar, Anik, um, to the, right. the whole team there at Global Training Center. Uh, you're making my job easier, I, you know, uh, but I, I will say that <laughs> both Lalo and I greatly appreciate um, everything y'all do. And and with that, I will also say a special thanks also to Elsa. Man, Elsa was, she was fantastic. Elsa and Chris both, but man, it's, uh, it's, yeah. she was our I, talent agent. I'll yeah. tell you what, uh, <laughs> if y'all don't know Elsa, that's uh, Lalo's wife, but she's about, what, five foot nothing. I mean, she's a little bitty thing. And yet, I'm telling you, I look at her, she's probably like 10 feet tall. I mean, she is got, she knows her stuff and all that. But again, thank you to the Global Training Center for not only sponsoring this, but the, the, all the work y'all do because our show, Simply Trade, and what y'all and the listeners get to listen to is due to their hard work. So greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Well, thank you all. And, um, I guess with that, we can wrap up and we'll, probably throw a bunch of other clips after this, after we wrap up, but um, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Go check out the video. I think, I think that's going to be worth it. I mean, people are just big old smiles. Everybody. I was catching a lot of grief Sunday night because I showed up in a short sleeve and jeans and, <laughs> and, and, and driving shoes. Yes. No boots. You forgot and no your cowboy, cowboy hat. hat. They're going, where, <laughs> where, you know, where's the cowboy hat? Where are the boots and all that? So I had to wear them for sure Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. So. <laughs> Introduce yourself and, and uh, where you're from. Hello, I'm Olga Roberts. I work for West Truck. I'm a global trade compliance manager. And West Truck makes uh, uh, fiber-based packaging products and paper. So Don't call it cardboard. Yes, that would be <laughs> offensive. <laughs> it's a fiber-based packaging. Okay, so what do you think about this year's conference here? This has been a, this is huge uh, as far as ICPA goes. Over 800 people in uh, person, and uh, I know there are almost 200 online, so almost 1,000 people involved in this conference, but... What do you, from, from being here, what do you uh, think? I think that's a very informative conference because we have so many developments like sanctions and we got up-to-date information on sanctions. Lacey Act, we got everything the latest and the greatest um, and all the reforms with uh, customs brokerage. So we get in there up-to-date advice on everything and right. access to the talent. So it's great. Awesome. Well, listen, any uh, final comments about even you know, becoming members of ICPA or other conferences or whatever, what, what would you recommend for somebody that's looking at this and seeing what they want to do? Well, first of all, join ICPA. It's first year. It's free. Come <laughs> yeah. on. <laughs> this is like that the is. best deal out and, there. And after that, it's only 10 coffees, right? Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, you're, it's $50. <laughs> Yeah, and take some Global Trading Center classes. Oh, thank you. I would recommend that. Thank you, Olga. Especially for importing to Mexico, <laughs> importing the U.S. and in Canada. Uh, they really helped me at the beginning of my career. And I found oh, out nice. about them at the ICPA conference. Hey, what do you know? There you go. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Olga. Yeah, we have Darlington Alcumi um, from St. Louis, Missouri. I work for Banzo International Services. Um, and all said and done. With that, it's the other thing is is that you get to expand your network. How about that? Have you uh, met some folks this go around that uh, it, it's been good for you? Very much so. Um, there were people I met last year that I've I met this year as well. Mm -hmm. um, like old friends. <laughs> <laughs> like old friends. Yeah. yeah. Now we turn it into buddies. Yes. You know? <laughs> you know, isn't it funny that way? You know, it's it, it's like, true though. Yeah. You, you get into an issue, whatever. It's like yeah. Let me call up so and so here. I met him. It's like I met Andy like at the third or fourth ICPA. He was with VEDEX, and look, now we're hosting the show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it's, exactly it's, uh, how I met him. It, 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 we, we literally went, uh, and, and it's been, oh man, this is what, 20 almost 20 years, years ago. Man, it's been a long time. <laughs> Yo, coot you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much better to, to do it in person because we, we will work a lot from home now, and we don't share this type of, you know, uh, informal conversations right. they don't happen on Skype as much as right. they do in person and well, you can't really walk across the hall and talk to your HR person about 
what yeah. sanctions or forced labor or <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> they have no clue <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're coming through, and we got an attendee. <laughs> this is, is this been your first conference? This is my first. Oh uh, yes. yes. I, I, as a, and then, in second to that is uh, you are a subscriber uh, to Simply Trade. I am. I am. I love it, and we had a good conversation with Whitney, right? That's right. All right. My memory's as long as a turtle's tail, so I may call you George <laughs> just to answer to it. Uh, that all said, is uh, what do you think? We're on the final day. This is it. What do you, has it really been good for you? It, this has been amazing. The networking opportunities, the information sessions, the people I've met, um, getting connected with my local data group in um, Atlanta, which will be Shaq, mm -hmm. who's to the right of me. Um, it's been a great opportunity. So, yeah, it's highly recommended. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for uh, being a, a, a good loyal member, I guess, as a <laughs> listener to our uh, a podcast as well as to the organization here. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Safe travels. Thank you. <laughs> I, I will. See you. The uh, last day of the conference is winding down here a little bit. And we have Bethany, what's your last name? Seymour. Seymour. Bethany Seymour. And uh, this is your first time attending, is that right? No, I've been here a couple times already. Okay. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen you, so okay. nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> I have not been to all the last ones uh, of recent, so anyway. Bethany, uh, what do you think about ICPA, and especially, for, let's start off with this conference. I love it. You know, ICP, ICPA for me is one of those things that it's a chance where we can give back a little bit. We can give back to each other. We can learn from each other. Compliance is one of those type of industries where people tend to try and work in a bubble and you can't. It, it doesn't work. You, you, it's not, you can't work in a bubble. So you make networking connections with people who know a little bit more about something different than you do. You don't need to know all the answers. You need to know where to go to find the answers. And stuff like this is what, where, you can, where you can go to do that. And you know, the, the best part about ICPA for me and especially about this conference is, is I don't feel like I'll ever fail. I, I don't because the ICPA sets up fantastic network questions and answers they the presentations when you're a member you can go and you can look at past presentations from 20 years ago and you can reach out to that contact still now and they'll still help you it's it's a community and then this is one of those things where uh as you say you know the, the it's like a family and and with that you know you you may not like certain people in your family, but you're not going to, you know, you've got their back, right? You got their back. And, and you know, and that's the thing. You got their back because they're going to have yours tomorrow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. With that, um, this conference has been fantastic. I love it, Bill. We're, you know, almost a thousand people total have been in Bung. Compared to how it used to be? Wow. Oh. Love it. It's, I love to see it grow. And with that, let me ask this now. What about the ICPA organization itself? We were talking about, you know, the networking and, and the... And you were talking about, I guess, the uh, past presentation. So that's on the website and whatnot. Yep. If somebody's new into the industry or even been in the industry and they are not members of ICPA, what would you recommend? Join. Why are you waiting? I mean, the resources that are available to you, why would you not take advantage of them? I mean, if, if you, nobody picks compliance. Nobody picks logistics. You don't, it, it picks you. And you're either going to love it and be a lifer or you're going to burn out. So why would you not increase your odds of doing the best you can do, of having that knowledge and being able to understand and put the things you know into practice? Why would you not join and be a part of it and get an opportunity to learn as much as you can? Because then you can, you can be the expert. You can mentor the next, the next team, the next group, the next generation. Well, with that, uh, I will say that the website is icpainc.org. You can look to see uh, and check it out, or you can just do uh, ICPA, do a Google search on it. And keep in mind, there's other organizations. Another organization. Hey, but and by the way, the first year I believe is free, so there's no there's no miss. There's no reason not to join. Well, and that's the thing: join for free. It's ICPA is really focused predominantly on the individual. This is you know there are companies that will join in and, and get memberships for their their employees. You don't need to be in a, 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 you know, a company to do it. You can be an individual. And 
and actually before you keep going and end it, the other thing is, is there's no stupid questions. You can, you can ask a question as someone who is just starting in the business and has no clue, and you'll get an expert answer for someone who has, you know, lawyer or LCB or Cuseco or whatever after their name. So, yeah. Well, and the other thing as far as networking, uh, it's phenomenal here. Not only do you increase your knowledge as far as the, 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 uh, the topics, the uh, presentations and all that, the uh, the recurring thing from everybody that they're talking is this phenomenon. You were talking about the people and all that. You're networking with folks, but from a career development perspective, chances are if you're applying for a job at a particular company, you may know somebody or somebody you know somebody else or whatever that you know, could go. You will know somebody and you will see them again. It happens. This is, the industry is very small. It's very small in a good way. Well, and, and the one thing is a lot of, there's a tremendous amount of turnover in the compliance arena. Usually a lot of folks, it's amazing on how many are in their job less than five years and they're going on to something else. So it's like you will definitely uh, cover somebody. Oh, yeah. A few somebodies. You might, you might have three somebodies on your desk and fly by your seat of your pants trying to figure out how to cover somebody. And that's where ICPA and stuff like this, some stuff like your company will get you in and you get to learn, you get to grow, and you get to, you get to have that knowledge and not flail. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. And for everybody, again, it's like uh, if you're not a member, please consider joining ICPA. And secondly, we uh, ask you to, to take a look at the next conference uh, and, and uh, look at attending. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, folks. We uh, appreciate your listenership uh, and, and, and viewership when you're looking at it. And, uh, you know, uh, I will say please take a look also at the Global Training Center because if you're trying to do self-development, that is one of the best areas you can have for you and your staff. So take a look at it. And, and uh, Lalo's not pushing me to say that. I'm just saying, telling you, if I had a group, I would have him be looking at that. So, Well, thanks, Andy. Yeah, so um, thank you all. And uh, we'll catch you next week on uh, the next episode. And hope hopefully yeah. you enjoyed this. And again, comment on it if, on the video. Even if it's to make fun um, of us. <laughs> stream and let us know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Any way or another, I mean, yes. I don't care. I just want to hear something, right? I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's really good to hear from you all. Thank you all, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this uh, slightly different show. Thank you very much for joining us. Simply Trade is brought to you by the generous contributions of Global Training Center. You can follow the show and GTC on LinkedIn or Twitter and other social networks. Make sure you check out the show notes in the description for a full rundown of today's show with all the important links. Also, make sure that you share this with a friend and subscribe on your favorite streaming platform. We really like hearing from you. If you enjoyed the show, make sure to rate and review wherever you listen to this podcast. If you or someone you know would like to be a guest in the show or would like to sponsor Simply Trade or suggest any topic you would like for us to discuss, please contact us via email at simplytrade at Global Training Center dot com or you can dm us on twitter at simply trade pot thank you again for the privilege of your time happy trading simply trade is not a law firm or an advisor the topics and discussions conducted by simply trade hosts and guests should not be considered and is not intended to substitute legal advice you should seek appropriate counsel for your own situations. These conversations and information are directed towards listeners in the United States for informational, educational, and entertainment purposes only and should not be substituted for legal advice. No listener or viewer of this podcast should act or refrain from acting on the basis of information on this podcast without first seeking legal advice from counsel. Information on this podcast may not be up to date depending on the time of publishing and the time of viewership. The content of this posting is provided as is. No representations are made that the content is error free. The views expressed in or through this podcast are those of the individual speakers, not those of their respective employers or Global Training Center as a whole. All liability with respect to actions taken or not taken based on the contents of this podcast are hereby expressly disclaimed. Two right, and I'll have two tacos, a Diet Coke, 
<laughs> but I'm one two left. We're <laughs> <coughs> ready. You can take that out there. All right, folks. We have somebody who's been on our podcast and all. George Tuttle, a great good friend, but also a fun uh, fun guy to be around. Hey, thanks, Andy. Yeah. You too. Yeah, same to you. Hey, yeah. Let's just see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> so far, we haven't gotten into any dancing well, it's yet. it's still early yet, huh? <laughs> Got anything to say about the conference here? What you is- know, I'm just so happy to be here. I just can't believe the numbers of people that are here. Oh, yeah. We've got 800 registrants here and another 200 online. So it's fantastic. We feel really good about the opportunity to be here and be back with everybody. And it's it's like family when we come here. Awesome. All right. I love stuff. it. Yeah. I love it. So thanks, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, she's gonna have to edit some of that. Up, did it? Did it? Yeah. Well, that's why, you know, we were talking about the webinars. Webinars, it's live, man. If you, you lay an egg there, you're like, oh, right. toast. Exactly. Right. And uh, I love this kind of thing, man. I got to tell you, 